Welcome back guys, so the Android 12 version of the Pixel Experience ROM has been out for some time. So let us see how to install the GSI of the same on our device. So first go to the Play Store and install this treble check app and see if your device is compatible. We also need our bootloader to be unlocked. So if you have all those things ready, we can proceed further. So go to the settings and in the system, tap on the build number 7 times. To unlock the developer options and under developer options we need to enable the usb debugging so if we switch it off just turn it on and now we need to install an application so this is the dsu side loader application so install this version number 1.02 uh, it worked for me better so install the apk release and open and install it the latest version has some issue with creating folders for me so we need to create a folder and you can name it whatever and press ok and then just select it and it's telling us the bootloader should be unlocked as i said earlier In the preferences we can set the size of the GSI partition so in my case I'm going to choose 10 GB you can choose higher if you want this is the size that been allocated to the partition and restart your app to apply the changes now we're going to download the GSI ROM the pixel experience so download the first link and i've already downloaded it so we can proceed so open the application and then keep the screen on to check that and then select the um, the gsi image and confirm your settings then we can proceed with the installation And make sure you're not already running the any GSI image and it's going to take a while then you will see this pop-up so do not close this screen and we will proceed with the computer or laptop so we're going to install the ADB on our system and if you have already installed ADB you can skip forward so download the latest zip file from one of the servers we need to extract it so right click and extract using any program now we will install this program so we need to press y and enter and to for me it showed this error so if it's not the case with you you can proceed otherwise go to your c drive and under users and your username we need to create a folder named desktop and now we can go back and install the program And this time it will install successfully and it will give us some options as well so this window we can proceed to install the drivers and also press yes and now we have successfully installed ADV so now in the C drive we will have a new folder named ADB so open that now right click and open a terminal or you can shift and right click if the option is not visible here we will type adb devices in small letter and you will see this pop up on your phone so just allow the adb debug the adb debugging 
and if you type it again it will show that the access has been authorized and now we can proceed with the commands that we see on the phone so copy the same commands on here make sure you get the folder name right mine is different and once we hit enter you will see this screen on your phone so authorize it and you can see in your notification area the installation has begun and after a while you will see an option to restart or discard so we're going to restart it and by the way i'm using the moto g 5g and you can see the bootloader unlocked warning and after a while we will see the google logo which is the boot the boot animation for the pixel experience and now the rom is starting so it is a gsi rom and you can see the welcome screen this feels very similar to the official google pixel gsi that i tried earlier it is trying to connect to the mobile network and it shows my network uh, connection that's good and also the wi-fi is working as well so these gsi roms are quite stable and most of the things works pretty fine so i'm going to skip everything and going to opt out of any anonymous data you can set up a password and pin you can see this animation that we seen in even in android 13 the animations are quite similar and this is the pixel experience very smooth animations and you can see it shows the gsi image so you can just restart to go back into your uh, whatever rom you were using so like, like i said it's like a dual boot situation very minimal applications and on the about phone you can see it says the moto g 5g and android 12 that may decrease the brightness very smooth so let me set up my account and everything so now i've been using it for some time and i've set up my google account and the it's very smooth you can see it says 4g and the 4g data is working even wi-fi data is also working and i can do i can make calls so the calling is uh, uh it can be a bit problem uh, problematic because volty doesn't work so mine is airtel sim and it is like airtel supports 2g 3g and 4g but geo only supports 4g so you may not be able to make calls using geo and all the gsi roms has this extra options so you can enable volty but uh, if i enable this i can't even make calls on normal like normally even i can't make calls so i've turned it off and you can see i have set it to lte by default it was connected to 3g or 2g and this is something new i've seen adaptive connectivity so to save some battery we have the basic options and the applications very minimal installations and in the connectivity bluetooth is working 
we have the option of NFC and everything as well. And battery. And display we see couple of settings. We can enable dark mode or uh, so let's try to turn it off. And this is how it looks in the light mode. And you can see the fingerprint, uh, the animation, unlocking animation, it looks very cool. It shows a subtle from where the fingerprint is situated. Looks pretty good. We have the new option to apply the wallpaper as well. Right now you can see it has a pinkish accent. We can change the wallpaper. Even while applying, you can see it's, uh, it shows a very good animation while even applying the wallpaper. And I can see the accent has changed to orange. Now it's green. So the material U is also working uh, pretty good without any issues. And in the settings, you can even play around with some more options you can change the color even further if you don't like the default accent and the performance has been really good very smooth animations and the safety net is also passes the safety net so we can use the banking applications as well and i've chosen the 10 gb so it shows me only two or three gb is free so you can create even uh, like higher storage spaces if you want if you plan to use it for a long time and if you have the google feed on the left the chrome browser very smooth performance no lags or hiccups and the quick toggles is pretty good looking we have a lot of options and you can add even more we cannot customize the tiles as of yet and we have couple of new widgets as well the conversation widget the clock has the most iconic and white 12 the widget so you can choose one of these Just press and hold and you can choose between two style so that was android 12 gsi for the pixel experience i hope you like this video and i'll see you in the next one